past two days uh, really tough ones but what can we do that is what it is they say i just want to clarify a few things because i cannot be uh, silent anymore uh, because what is happening here um, is really unfair and uh, they are torturing uh, innocent people who don't, don't deserve this so i will just explain my side of the story uh, what really happens from my side, so, um, yeah, uh, we were on the wedding, I will start with wedding, and, um, yeah, we were on the, in the room, we sit on the room with Shara, we, on the bed with Shara and two other people, so we were mostly four, uh, three boys and one a girl, the Shara, on the bed, Two, me two meters away from the, my wife and she was uh, always there and see all the time what is happening that they, they are, uh, they, they are, we don't, didn't do anything that uh, be, be, could be bad or something and um, yeah uh, that's more or less it uh, on the wedding but uh, what angers me it was this that uh, me and Jeremy talk about the wedding and I say that I would like the, that uh, Shara is my best woman on the wedding and she said oh no then we will not have no wedding and I say okay we will not have church wedding and it's uh, that's it but uh, then later she said, okay, we, Shara will be uh, on your side and uh, Shara will be your uh, best woman and uh, as a parent and everything there because you don't have nobody and uh, Shara will be the one. But then we come to the wedding and um, everything fine. We start the wedding, we were happy, I was happy that the wedding will be happening. And then uh, I realized that uh, she go behind my back and uh, put in the places uh, to be my best man, the person who I even didn't know. Uh, I see him for the few seconds and there was, um, uh, they are start pushing Shaira away and uh, start uh, acting uh, badly toward us too. And uh, yeah, it was tough. And they still keep repeating uh, that uh, he's my best man. And uh, because of this, uh, that uh, my wife uh, go behind my back. Uh, he, she, she should uh, listen to me. She should respect me if she, you love me. Uh, but no, you fake the whole wedding. You go behind my back, do what I say that please don't do this, this. And they keep repeating this lie, keep repeating it all the time. How, how can, could possibly people uh, be happy on the wedding if uh, somebody says, yeah, this is uh, an ounce, this is your best friend and, uh, and he will tell uh, good things now for you. Uh, how, how you will tell anything about me if you don't even know me? And you put Shara away because of this. And uh, yeah, it's uh, because of this I was more and more and more angry on the wedding. And uh, this is totally disrespectful. And more that I'm saying uh, Shara is my best woman and more nobody not even want to listen to and just faking the wedding uh, in the f in future but okay then the wedding was done done and uh, we go home yeah of course i was uh, angry so i left for the half hour and uh, so to, i cool myself down and then i came back uh, after fair of, uh, half hour home and uh, jeremy was not there uh, and then after this the incident uh, we managed to come together uh, and uh, I beg uh, Jeremy that uh, if we can go to munici municipality uh, because uh, she was threatening and everything and 
it was toxic relationship yes um, and um, i beg her let's go to municipality to talk please uh, she didn't want to go to municipality i asked her please let's go to uh, let's go to uh, um, a psychiatry professional and uh, she said what you think i'm crazy i say no let's please let's go there and we will talk there so we see the things uh, like it is the, somebody else see and he listen to the things it's not bad to go and ask the other people uh, uh, opinions but uh, because you reject everything and you keep uh, threatening everything uh, you can change yourself so uh, i love you jeremy i love you i, I always love you jeremy but i cannot live in the uh, so toxic environment uh, always threatening always bad always always something uh, this is why we we uh, stop uh, everything because you didn't want to go to talk and all your lies you say it's uh, just lies